A microscopic piece of metal could be the biggest break in years in the legendary D.B. Cooper skyjacking case. Fox 13's Lauren Donovan is live in the studio for us. So Lauren, the new clue comes 52 years after that daring heist and from the clip-on tie he left behind on in seat 18E of that Boeing 727, right? Yeah, to be exact, here it is, right here behind me on screen, that new breadcrumb that was discovered. A trace of metal pulled from Cooper's necktie. Here, it looks massive, but in reality, it's itsy-bitsy. I'm told three to four percent of a single centimeter. You need a microscope to see it. Investigators believe this shred of evidence can lead them to some groundbreaking discoveries. And when you look at the tie, when you look at that skinny black clip-on tie that he picked up at J.C. Penney, probably around Christmas 1964 for $1.49, uh, and you apply modern state-of-the-art technology to it, things they didn't have back in 1971 when this occurred, it tells a story. It's a microscopic piece, and you see that in the picture. The green is the titanium. There's a sliver of red at the top, which is the stainless steel there. Investigator Eric Ulis tells me this tiny piece of rare earth pulled from D.B. Cooper's tie could help unravel the mystery. This piece in particular I've found uh, unique. This particle in particular is, is very unique because, again, there has to be some sort of explanation of what type of you know, heavy-duty, hardcore mechanical process took place to actually abrade that stainless steel into the titanium. He's yet to pinpoint its origin, but believes it's evidence. The infamous hijacker worked in specialty metals. 18 months ago, Eric used U.S. patents to trace three other particles from that same very tie to crucible steel, a plant 2,500 miles away from the Pacific Northwest where Cooper is believed to have landed. Headquartered in the suburbs of Pittsburgh, a significant subcontractor for Boeing all throughout the 1960s. They supplied the lion's share of titanium and stainless steel for Boeing's aircraft. So it begins to make a lot of sense. Eric says back in the 70s, employees at Boeing contractor Crucible Steel were known to travel to Seattle. Their metals and alloys used to build the 727 the very same model Cooper hijacked. And we're looking for somebody that obviously had some sort of relationship to Boeing. Eric's not crossed any suspects off the list, but says at this point, all roads lead to this man, titanium research engineer Vince Peterson from Pittsburgh. I can put him in Seattle. I can put him at Boeing. He's a compelling person of interest, and he's definitely somebody I'm going to continue to dig into. So do you think this sliver of evidence is enough for the feds to reopen their case? No. They've made it very, very clear that they don't want to have anything to do with this case at this point. All right, and it is worth noting that Peterson did pass away back in 2002, so no longer with us. Question for you, Hannah. How often do you think mm -hmm. you should clean a tie? Maybe David can answer this one. Well, I said the wrong thing earlier. I thought you put it in the washer, <laughs> but I was wrong. You have to clean it in the dry yeah. cleaners, apparently. Yes, you so. do not put the tie in a washer. You won't be yeah. wearing it again. <laughs> so not, But not that often, right? Yeah, yeah. Fair to very say. rarely. So because it's one of those items that rarely gets cleaned, yeah. that was actually a really good thing for this investment. Investigation. This black skinny tie um, clip-on was real dirty. It had more than 100,000 particles on it. Particle scientists pulled off that they began to test. Traces of all sorts of things that end up on your clothing. So maybe, you, you know, you spill lunch, you bump up against a tree, give somebody a hug. Right. That passed out. Hannah, you put a coat over your um, yeah, who blazer knows right there. Who knows yeah, honestly. all sorts yeah. of things. So they were able to find traces of rare metal in that tie, and that is why they believe this is all connected to that specific plant out there wow. in Pittsburgh. And the technology now is really helping with this, right? Yeah, they say that's critical because, what, 52 years ago, when all these pieces were coming together, when they first recovered that tie, they didn't know exactly what to do it with it. And now it is in the possession of the FBI. All right. Keep us posted. All right. Yeah, we'll do. This is the most exciting break in a while. All so right. Good deal. There we go.